Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last posted a video, but I'm back again and sharing my long overdue travel vlog from my vacation in Denmark in June with my family. I have lost count of how many times we've spent our summer holidays in Denmark ever since 2006, but it surely is my family's favorite destination. We're always driving up there with our cars, which can easily take us up to 10 hours sometimes. So after many hours on the road with occasional breaks, we finally arrived at the very north of Denmark, in a town called Hirtshals. Our cottage was super close to the beach, so after we unpacked the cars, that's where we headed first. The weather was perfectly sunny, and so we enjoyed the seaside for a couple of hours, and even our dogs loved playing in the sand. <laughs> Once we are at any beach, we turn into avid collectors of beautiful things we find. So here's a little overview from only the first day. On the next day, it was my mom's 50th birthday, which we celebrated with 50 presents, decorations and cake. As the weather was nice and warm again, her wish was to go to the beach again, so that's what we did. I brought my whole match equipment with me so that I could enjoy a cup with the best view. Stop dreaming by you. So 
So I've been getting bags under my eyes Cause I've been staying up too late at night Just writing all my feelings out on this page Deciding whether I should just confess or hide it Tell myself it's for the best But either way I go, I know you're never gonna feel the same So I drink my coffee harder iced To get me through another lonely I fall asleep, but I shouldn't fall asleep this time. Cause lately I've been sleeping way too much. Later, my sister Hannah and my other sister's boyfriend Moritz went for an evening walk, and because he wanted to test out his drone. All the drone footage you see in this video were kindly provided by him. But I'm not ever wishing I start the galaxies won't make you change your heart. I'll make it any easier for me to stop dreaming about you Lately you've been counting way too many sheep Way too tired to even see that we don't last just in your dreams Oh, every morning I wake up wishing that you would see Oh, oh, oh You know I fall asleep too early and you sleep away too late Dreams, dreaming of the moment when you're here right next to me. Oh, Lately, I've been sleeping way too much. Oh, Cause, too baby, much. I've been dreaming about us. Oh, and I can't help but wish that all my dreams came true. Oh, boy, just wake up and I'll make it true. But I'm not ever Ooh. wishing on a star. The galaxies won't make you change your heart. We went down to the beach again and the sunset was truly mesmerizing. At one point I remember it felt super surreal with the wet sand reflecting the light, like you were in a closed room. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but I believe my sister felt the same way. The rocks in the water also inspired me to come back with my sister Julia to take some photos the next day. On day three, you guessed it, we went to the beach again, where we spent a lot of time in general. I think we went there every day at least for a few hours. That day I also took the photos at the spot I just mentioned with Julia. It's cold out here, just like my heart and soul. Mm. down on my walls, seeing how the things you don't want, yes, I know. It's too cold. Oh, just look at everything I do. I'm suffocating myself. I'm not safe, oh, 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 I'm not safe, oh, I'm lost at sea, drowning, wake me up, help me, there must be something I can do, oh, I'm driving around, reckless. I shot them on Ilford HP5 with my Mamiya 645 and really love how they turned out. What do you think?
On day four, we headed to the Oceanarium in Hirtshals, which had spectacular aquariums, which were home to many different species of fish, including the wondrous ocean sunfish. In German, we call it Mondfisch, which translates to moonfish, and in Danish, its name is Klumpfisk, which, especially if you're German, sounds really funny. They also had seals and sea lions and overall we enjoyed the visit a lot. In the evening we went for a walk to the nearby lighthouse. And I also later visited the sheep on another walk by myself. Another day, another lighthouse. And Denmark has a lot of them. This time we headed to Denmark's most northern point, where North and Baltic Sea collide. It was truly amazing witnessing the waves coming from two sides, where two oceans meet. Afterwards, we went to the town of Skane for some lunch and sightseeing where we came across a small candy maker, for example. Then we drove further to see Robier Mille, 
which is the largest moving dune in northern Europe and truly breathtaking to see. The area covers around 2 square kilometers and I would definitely recommend visiting if you're ever in the region. It feels like you're standing in the middle of a desert. I don't know if you can see it here, but there was at least one pheasant wandering around the area and I somehow made it my mission to see him up close. <laughs> On day 6 we went to Aalborg, roughly 45 minutes away from our cottage and first visited the street food indoor market for lunch. My family saw that place in a German documentary about the north of Denmark and wanted to go there ever since. They have all kinds of different foods, from sushi to Indian food and burger, pizza and fish. They also have an arcade section where they had the Stranger Things pinball machine, which of course I had to try, but failed spectacularly. <laughs> After good food and a bit of fun, we headed to Aalborg city center, where we checked out different shops and had some hot beverages at Starbucks, where I paid 7 euros for this cup of matcha latte. In general, the prices for food are much higher in Denmark compared to Germany. Back home, I enjoyed some quiet moments and relaxed with the face mask. The next day we visited another lighthouse and another moving dune called Rupjermile, which is close to a cliff.
the view was equally amazing, like the one we've seen before. I was even brave enough to take the stairs, which led roughly 20 meters to the top, together with my dad. Then we visited the nearby town of Löcken, but sadly the weather turned grey and rainy. After some ice cream, we walked alongside the beach, where you can also drive with your car. Back home at our cottage, we headed to the local fish restaurant, which was my family's wish, and I was fine with eating fries. It was also our last evening in Denmark, as we were about to head back to Germany the next day. My hunt for the pheasant sadly was unsuccessful until we were literally leaving the area where our cottage was. There he stood and it felt like this moment was meant to be. <laughs> Sorry for being dramatic, I just think pheasants are super pretty. Before leaving Denmark, especially my mom wanted to visit the paper museum in Blockhus, which was also worth a visit. Truly fascinating what you can do with paper. At the end we could even make something ourselves. Since it would be a very long drive back home, we decided to make a stop in Flensburg and stay there overnight.
After a stroll around town and some nice waffles, we had yummy burgers for dinner. The next day, after many hours, we arrived back home and we were greeted, more or less enthusiastically, by our cats Mila and Momo. It was a memory worthy holiday with my family and we all enjoyed the time together. I can truly recommend visiting the north of Denmark and I will hopefully come back one day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this travel vlog. Let me know if you've ever been in this area before. See you in my next video. Take care and goodbye.